So I've turned the clock round and we can have a look at the back plate. Beautiful floral engraving and you've got the little quarter count wheel here with the trip lever going across to lift and set off the grand sonnery great wheel here. So it strikes four times the hour every hour. Incredible <laughs> requirement from the from the spring, but this spring then has a fusee on it so that it gives pretty well the same rate of striking when it's fully wound and when it's running out. Whereas the twin barrel driving the, the going train and the quarter train, it strikes bing, bing, bing very fast when it's on the, has been fully wound, but uh, towards the end of the 30 hours, the duration of the clock, it's very laboured until the strike itself stops and the clock keeps going, getting completely out of phase. It's a nightmare. We're looking at the pinwheel above the twin barrel, which drives the quarters. One, two, three, four. So it's four quarters for the hour to strike now. This is the hour train, and you can see the fusee driving it. Um, it's only just strong enough, and the fly is slowing down as the force increases to lift the bell hammer. When the bell goes, uh, the fly increases again. You can see the pins, each one lifting the bell arbor across, uh, the increase in tension from the spring on the right, slowing down the fly and then slipping off and releasing it. And you can even see the wear on the pins after 350 years of hard work.